What's up everybody? It is Spenny with Spill the Goods and today we're going to be talking about moving photos, videos, and files from an SSD card over to your iPhone 15. Now I highlight iPhone 15 specifically and the reason I do that is because iPhones that are older than an iPhone 15 have a lightning port. Now iPhone 15 and later they have a USB-C port which made it much easier to be able to transfer files back and forth between hard drives and SSDs. If you are looking for a video teaching you how to do this same process but with your iPhone 14 or older I have those on my channel. So go ahead and click on my channel, subscribe if you want to. Go find the video teaching you how to do this same process with an iPhone 14 and older because it is possible and it cuts out the middleman of having to upload all of your photos and videos to a computer and then transfer them from the computer to your phone or vice versa. It can relieve a bunch of headaches. All right, now with all of that housekeeping out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you're going to need to do this is an iPhone 15 or later, as well as your hard drive or your SSD. I use this SanDisk mobile SSD. These things are absolutely awesome. This one is the one terabyte version. I know they have larger versions as well. It's super mobile, super easy to use, and very, very functional especially when you're trying to transfer files back and forth between your phone and a hard drive for editing purposes. I use this thing on a daily basis. This is linked in my description if you're interested. Okay, so the first step to this process is to go ahead and plug in your hard drive or SSD. You're gonna open your files. You're gonna see exactly where your hard drive is. Mine is called the Extreme SSD, so I'm gonna select that. And then I can go in and say, okay, you know what? I have some finished YouTube videos that I want to be able to move over. I'm gonna select vlog number four. It looks like I've got vlog underscore four finished with two Ds. I don't know why I put two Ds in there. But if I select that, I can actually push play on the video. Oh, cute. Okay, we're not gonna waste our time watching that right now. But if I select the video again, I'm going to hit the up arrow or the share arrow in the bottom left-hand corner. And then I'm gonna scroll down and you can see save video right under copy. If I hit save video and then click done, what I may have to do is wait just a little bit, but let's get out of the files app and I can open photos. And we'll see in just a moment that video will save to my phone. It'll save to my camera roll. Sometimes if the video is a little bit longer, it takes a little bit more time. Boom, there it is. So my eight minute and 28 second vlog that I just finished recently has just popped up here and I can see that it's inside of my camera roll and all saved there. So that's exactly how you move files between a hard drive to your iPhone. Such an easy process and I don't have to involve a computer or any other products besides this SanDisk. So convenient, makes it so easy, and this process works the opposite direction as well. The last thing I'm going to mention is before I take my hard drive out of my iPhone, I always like to swipe up and cancel out of both of the applications, both the photos and the files app, and then I go ahead and turn off my phone altogether. And once the phone is off, I unplug. I just do that for safety purposes, just to make sure I'm not creating a problem with my SanDisk, just trying to take care of it well. All right, my friends, that is exactly how to do this process. If you have any questions about it, please leave those in the comments below. I love being able to communicate with everyone that's out there and be able to answer any further questions that people have. If they're having a struggle getting it to work, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.